Since 1934, our mission has been ceremony and drill excellence for the Commandant of the Marine Corps and the Battalion Commander of Marine Barracks, Washington. So that comes in many forms, travel, both CONUS and OCONUS, Tuesday evening parades, and, or Tuesday sunset parades and Friday evening parades. It's kind of the main effort for, for what we do. The official United States Marine Corps Color Guard represents uh, Marines who have fought before us um, in, in displaying the national colors as well as the United States Marine Corps colors at various events in the National Capital Region as well as uh, across the nation and sometimes worldwide. So I think what's important for every detachment Marine to realize, especially when we're traveling, right, is that we represent all the Marines that are in the Marine Corps, right? So we go to small towns or even large towns where individuals might have never met a Marine before, and we, we put a face, we put a personality to the bigger Marine Corps for those individuals. One time we were doing a show for Gold Star families, and a father of a Marine, his son, was killed in action, walks up to our platoon and says, hey, one of your guys looks like my boy, he looks like my son. And he ended up spending 10, 15 minutes talking with us, showing us pictures and just wanting to spend time with Marines again, that reminded him of his own, his own family. We drill and practice to ensure that we make sure that it is right. Um, the bigger picture is that we are trying to show that the Marine Corps has a high level of, uh, of, of discipline um, and that when we go out and we represent our nation and we represent the Marine Corps, that we bring that level of discipline to the viewers, the outside viewers, so that they understand how much time and effort that the Marines that came before us put in and then how we show respect to them um, through our drill movements.